And uh, this is how I was gonna do like a how to clean it, but uh, I don't know. Um, and I'll be using this uh, fish and chips and some milk. And this is all you'll need. You don't need this because if you already have, if you don't mind, or if you don't uh, have the bones inside of it, I'll be cutting the bones out. Just to show you how to cut the bones out. If you are gonna cut the bones out, you will not need this. And you won't need a knife or anything like that. But everything else, especially like the baggie, this is to uh, pour the batter in. But I'll show you how to do that and all the all the steps for it. And uh, have the deep fryer ready. Why did it, um, um, have the deep fryer ready. Have to make sure the deep fryer is the oil is hot enough. So. Uh, Okay. There we go. So, you're going to want to take probably about, hmm, depends on how much fish you'll have. If you have a lot of fish, you'll need more than, uh, you'll have to double, or however much fish you're going to have, you're going to have to make, uh, you're going to have to use more of what I'm using. But I'm just doing a little bit. So actually, yep, I'm gonna take an egg, crack it. I'm just gonna set it back in here. I'll throw it away later. Um, crack another one. You only need probably about two eggs. There you go. If you have about as, I only have like nine fish in here, so. That's about all you'll need. And I'm just using the leftover milk. Uh, that's good. And the milk is just to uh, make the batter a little bit more, not as like thick. And I'm going to use the, the fork, I guess. Just a nice little fork. I may have put too much milk in there. Eh, no, it's... Since I'm done with that, I'm just going to set this to the side. I'm just going to put this over here because we won't need that for a minute because um, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to pour this uh, uh, Mr. Crummick on the fish and uh, golden, yeah. Set that there. And uh, take the handy dandy uh, um, Ziploc bag. And it comes in a bag like this. This one, this one does. Some of them just, you can also use flour, but I'm just using the, uh, fish and chips. Oh, shoot, I gotta go, uh, grab the scissors. I'll be right back. And, uh, just a disclaimer, these... Uh, these fish are the ones that we caught um, on Sunday. The last video I uploaded. These, that's the fish. That's the bluegills. So I'm gonna cut this bag. I'm not gonna cut it all the way open because I probably will not need all this, and I'll probably just put the rest of this inside of a Ziploc bag. Uh, okay, that. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that, uh, there we go. For now, I'm just gonna fold this up like this and, uh, set that there for now. And that's a bit much than I'll need, but what will happen is it'll, like, after getting wet, the, this, when, after the batter gets wet, it'll start to clump up and it, it's just a pain in the butt. But, uh, so, 
involved. Deep fryer is ready, but oh no, I have to. Okay. So now I'm going to take the fish, and you do not have to do this if you do not want to, but I just don't like the bone in it. So you're going to take one piece. I just I'm going to put two out there. You're going to take the piece of fish. Oh, this is the big ones. This is the big one that we caught. And uh, set that right there. And, uh, so, like, right, right here, you, if you move your finger up and down, you'll feel like a, where the spine is, but like, right here, right at the beginning, like, you can kind of see it, you almost, like, when I run my finger, you'll see it, like, pick up, see, especially right there, because there is a bone right there, I don't know if you can see that, but that bone, it kind of gets soft. It in there, so I'm just gonna show. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is flip it towards me. And usually, you use a fillet knife, but I don't have one here. And uh, so, find the bone, find it where it stops, and then and just cut it like that. Make sure you don't try not to cut as much meat as, out as possible. And then it stops about right there, and then cut right there. Cut right there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. <sighs> yeah, that's why I said usually use a fillet knife. Fillet knife. But uh, I don't really have one, so I'm just using the regular steak knife. But it it works pretty fine. But then you'll have just a little piece like this. It's not that much. I I got a little too. Uh, I didn't. I cut out like a. Uh, a little too much, but uh, I'm just gonna feel one more time, make sure there's no bones, and you'll have a piece kind of like this, and it'll look just like that. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna set this, I'm just gonna let this like marinate, I guess. I'm just gonna set it right here, I'm gonna set it right in here, just and let it take a gander in there, and I'm gonna set and I'm gonna do that with all these. So I'm not going to bore you bore you with that. I'll just do one more, just so you can see. And I'll do this one. Wait, is this one done? I think this one may be done. I think this one... Nope. I feel a couple bones right there. But, uh, yeah, I won't bore you guys with all this. I'll just uh, do one more, and then I'll uh, skip to where I'm done. Okay? Yeah, I'll do one more. All right. Perfect one right there. So, once again, you just uh, run your finger right in here, and you'll feel this bone, just the spine bone. Because bluegill don't really have a lot of bones, just in the actual fillet itself. But uh, if you just run your finger right here, you'll feel there's a bone. And make sure to try not to cut a lot of meat. I know I said that, but, uh, I mean, more meat the better. I'll, I'm just gonna make a slice to where it stops the bone, and then uh, so I don't cut past that. So go right there, and then cut down. Cut down again, because this isn't a fillet knife, so it's not gonna cut the best. But and then, like I said, you'll have like a little piece like this and it has bones in it so some people don't really care if there's bones in it but I just don't really like them so I just cut them out oh, I missed one there we go just missed a little bone it's not a big deal but now if I feel everywhere there is not a single bone in there I'm just gonna flop that in there and I'm not gonna bore you guys anymore with this I'll just uh, skip to where we're almost right to I'll catch you guys when I turn back on. All these in there. I got all the pieces of fish. I cut them up just so I showed. Now, uh, it might be a good idea to uh, wash your hands after that because you don't want to be... Uh... We don't really... We just...
just have regular done this show soap. We'll drop that on there. And uh After you're done wash your hands, then uh, I, you don't have to wash your hands. It's just you got uh you got this right here. Just I uh, better throw this away. Just the uh, these are all the scale not scales um blah, 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 all the spine. So uh, rake that out, and you'll no longer need uh, the cutting board anymore. And like I said before, you will not need the cutting board if you do not care of if you have uh, bones in yours. But uh, I'm just not a big fan of bones. So what you're gonna do is come over here, and you won't really need the fork unless you don't really like touching stuff. But just take the fork, plop it over there, and just go like this. Just get. Get it really nice and coated. And spread that around. Alright, that should be about good. You just need a really nice, even coating. And, uh, just like this. There we go. I'm just going to rinse my hand off so I, I'm not getting sl not slime, but this all over the place. Rinsed off. Just so I'm not getting stuff all over the place. Alright, after you're done with that, I'm gonna set you guys down. That uh, I showed recorded earlier. It's a bit much, but, I mean... Just, uh... Just... Pop them in there. Here's the uh, <laughs> here's the uh, the big and piece. That's the uh, that's the taste testers piece right there. That's the uh, that's the serious piece right there. That's the good one. That's the uh, <laughs> the big ends. While it's still nice and coated, there's another really nice piece. And then you got these like this. You just those are the <laughs> those are the Pluto pieces. Something like this. That's like a a doggo piece. Just make sure that there's uh, no bones for the dog. It might not be a good good thing for a dog. I don't know if fish is a good idea for a dog at all. Don't don't take my advice for the fish and giving it to a dog. Here's uh, another really good piece. And you'll see, uh, that's where the bone was, right there, right in there, the, oh, what is that, that sink, just, uh, plop that right in there, add another, plop it, plop, Oop. yeah, I know I'm making a little bit of a mess, but I'll clean it up in a minute. And you want to make sure not to overfill the deep fryer. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. It has to be all under the, all under the, uh, the grease. Here's another okay size piece. Make sure, just uh, kind of rub your hand through there to make sure there's no, no uh. Any more pieces in there? Because sometimes they'll just hide. Alright, now what you're going to do... The really important part is make sure... Like best fish out of the lake. To me, ice fishing. So what you're going to do... Is... Zip tie it up. There we go. Zip tie it. I just like to go like this. I like to... Uh, wrap it up like this so there's air in there and then just give a nice kind of not too violent because you don't want to break the bag but like a not like a little wimpy shake like 
But like, give it up. See, that's why you don't want to do violent, because it, it'll open a little. But, you just give it a... And then, if you just, like, kind of do like this a little bit, just... That'll, that should be good. So, uh, like I said, we got our deep fryer right there. It does not have the light on. When the light is off, that indicates that, uh, there is no more, you know, like, the grease is hot enough. And if you do not have some, uh, like a deep fryer kind of like this, um, another way you could indicate... Here, I'll take a little bit out of this. Another way you could indicate if it's hot enough is just take a pinch of, uh, batter and just come over, open it. And just, if it does that, that means it's hot enough. I'm just going to leave this open. So, I'm going to take my bag. I'm going to bring it over to uh, my uh, fryer. Sorry for taking so long. All right. I'm going to pop this down right here. All right. And... Got your nice. Oh, this already looks good. <laughs> We're gonna uh, take this, lay it in there. Take another one, lay it in there. Oh, see, this is this is like one that didn't get battered good. So you gotta put your hand in there, just toss it up a little bit, and uh, then take it like this. Put it in there. Take another one, slap that in there, and then put, this is another big in piece right here. That's a, that's a good eating one. And some of them will be like this, but it's not that big of a deal. They'll be like this. It won't be that big of a deal because it'll, you know, it'll buff. It'll buff. And uh, throw that in there. And I'll just do this kind of fast. You see what I'm doing here. Pop those in there. And then, like in the batter, you're gonna want to put that uh, wet batter in the wet. You're going to want to run your hand in there because this is definitely hard to see. So, see, like, I would have never found this piece if I would have never rubbed my hand in there. Just make sure again. Oh, there's another piece. See? It kind of disappeared. And another. There was just like a corner of them. And uh, I'm just about full. I cannot, I barely can put it anymore. But I only have a couple more pieces, so I'm going to put the rest in there. See, this is what I was talking about. If it gets too full, they won't go under, but that's because I don't have it uh, shaken down at all. And uh, like I said, just rub under here a little bit. And that's about it in there. And what I'm going to do is some people don't have deep fryers like this. Some of them do. I'm going to kind of give that a good shaking in there. All right, that's a pretty good shaking. I'm going to close this. Now I'll uh, get back to you when these are finished, and I'll show you how when you know the, when they're finished. Uh, so um, after uh, right, these uh, golden crispies are almost done. Ah, that's hot. Duh, that's hot. These are almost done, but, uh, I'm just gonna show you. So, I just took my regular pan. It's just an older pan, and I'm just gonna take my paper towels. So, when, when they're done, you usually do this with all deep frying. I'm gonna cut that off, and set you guys up. There you can see. And, so, I'm just gonna Fold this once like this, just so it can catch it. So when all that, when that's done, I can take it from the fryer and just dump it on here. And uh, that'll basically be it. But uh, then we're gonna have to have our tester try it because, in my opinion, that is the best fish you can ever catch, um, ice fishing.
in Wisconsin. Like, it's just the best. It's, yeah, you, you got to try it. But uh, just make sure when you're done, just take your washcloth. If you spill at all, like right here, I missed a little bit. Just, you got to make sure to wipe up, especially if you live with your parents. They're going to be mad at you. And if your parents are mad at you, then you can't do the fun things like catch fish like this. And, uh, yeah, it's just a, just make sure you clean up. And, uh, anything that you mess up, if you have to take out the milk, eggs, all that stuff, if you have to make sure to do all the dishes, unless your parents are like, oh, I'll do the dishes. But if, if you cook, you might as well just do the dishes for them so then they don't have to do it. But just make sure you do the dishes and make sure you, uh, just clean up. Because if you don't, your parents might get mad at you, and then you can't do fun things, because you'll be in trouble. So, these are, I think, these are done. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use this just so I don't burn myself. I'm just going to give it a nice little shake, and, uh, yeah, those are just about done. Look at those golden crispies in there. Woo, those are good. And I have, uh, I've never used this I've always used just either just uh normal flour or uh sometimes we'll get the really cheap stuff but this is the good stuff so it may be really good I don't know I'll uh I'll uh have my tester try it and uh, I'll try it and I'll tell you if it's a really good or if it it just sucks um it got it has instructions on the back but to be honest if this is really good it may be a good idea just to follow my instructions and Yep, it's the, just so you can read it, and if you like to ice fish, and or, or even if you're just making fish, and you want to deep fry it, then you can uh, just use this, but I have not tried this yet, but if you do not have this, just go into your pantry, or wherever you keep your flour, and you just do the same exact thing with this, with the flour, like this, just do the same exact steps, except you use flour instead. But uh, I think our uh, our fish is done in here, so I'm going to open this up. Yep, they look pretty done to me. Ooh, you can't tell me that doesn't look appetizing. Look at that. I'm going to give it a nice little shake so uh, the grease gets off, so it's not as much grease. And look at that. That's uh, these pieces down here. They got uh, a little burnt, but overcooked, I mean. Not burnt. None of these got burnt, but... Uh, I mean that looks like you just bought it from um uh, that looks like you just bought it from uh Red Lobster. I mean God that looks good. Look at that. I'm gonna do a nice little uh open a piece up while it's super still I mean while it just came out. And I'm gonna do it right next to the camera. Look at that. Oh that's just a Oh, that's hot. Whoo, look at that. Wow, that looks like some good stuff. But I'm just going to let this sit here for a minute, and I'll uh, I'll get back with you guys when this is kind of cooled down. I'll have my tester try it. So uh, I'm just going to let this cool down. I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. All right, it's been like three minutes. That's about all you need. I'm going to grab a nice little piece like this, and this is one that... As you see, uh, the form of it, I cut right here to get the bone out, and I'm just going to, I'll grab two for them, and uh, I'm going to go let my uh, my taste tester go try it. No hot sauce, no nothing, you don't need any of that. Alright. Looks good. Mmm, mmm. Good? That is delicious. Yummy. Well, you hear it you heard it here, folks. He said it's really good. I uh I recommend you go try ice fishing. Um if you're under sixteen, I think you can go um you don't have to buy a fishing license. And I highly recommend you go even if it's not ice fishing, just uh during the summer when you're out of school, if you're in school, if you're not an adult. But, uh, 
whenever you get time, like in the summer, just uh, Walmart has super cheap rod and reels, and uh, you can buy them like in a package where it comes with a rod, reel, and a couple baits. And if uh, you try a bait, I would uh, definitely try like a Rapala or uh, just even just a worm. Just let it sit in the water. But if you're ice fishing, just use a if if you're trying to just catch bluegill like this, just um uh just use a wax worm and or a grub, you know what I mean? But uh use a grub and a jig and just use your jig and rod and just send it. So uh thank you for watching Kale Outdoors. Don't make sure to uh like and subscribe, and thank you for watching Kale Outdoors.